Now, here's a charity that deserves a little bit of attention. Look them up, go to the website and support them if you can. Well, here we are, FA Cup third round day. Uh, I, certainly when I was growing up, I used to think of the FA Cup third round, especially the draw itself as well, as being the most exciting competition there was. Things seem to have changed these days. Uh, a couple of years ago under Manuel Pellegrini, City had to admit to fielding a weaker team uh, because there just were too many fixtures and, and too many games to play. Next Tuesday, City play Bristol City in the semi-final first leg of the League Cup. And of course, there's a couple, a couple of games over the new year as well. So it'll be very interesting to see what sort of side Pep Guardiola picks today. But uh, one thing I want to know from fans today is whether or not the FA Cup is what we're all told it is, which is, well, perhaps we can't argue with the fact that it might be the oldest competition, but is it the most exciting domestic cup competition in the world? And how much do people look forward to it? Yeah, I think it's a, a fantastic competition. It's just disappointing that some teams play so many weakened sides. Uh, so I think it's, um, it should go for it, to be honest. On that basis, do you expect Pep to pick a really strong team today, then? I'm hoping he does, uh, but with Tuesday coming up, I think it might just be a little bit weak. Called a special place, definitely. I mean, it was the first thing I ever saw City win. So for me, it's got a real special place. It's been, what, five years, it's five years now since we've won it. I think we're due a win, to be honest. Um, it'd be really good for Yaya to bow out with an FA Cup win. kind of come full circle. I still remember being an 18-year-old at Wembley seeing City play Tottenham. Went to every single game that round. Only game I didn't go to was briefly. And that was an 18 year old. And he's a little bit older than that now. So I'm just telling him on the way across. We live in York, come from York. So I was just telling him, uh, you know, how the FA Cup stands deep in my heart and what a great competition it still is. What does it mean to you then? Same, really. Uh, I think it's a shame that it's not how it used to be in terms of, um, I don't know, if people don't see it as as big a competition anymore. but. Would you pick Kevin De Bruyne today? Yeah. And would you pick him on Tuesday again? Yeah, because he's, he just loves playing football. And I read something in the paper the other day from uh, Fernandinho where he says we're all fit, we just want to play football games, we don't want to, we don't want to be rested. So their players are up for it, so, so why not? But at the same time, if it gives a young kid a chance that might not get a chance any other time, you know, to come to show us what he's you know, going to be hopefully in the future, why not play him? I still think it means a lot because it was the first trophy we won under the new regime so it would be nice to win it again and that's nearly seven years ago now since we won it so it would be nice to win it again. I still think it's a very good competition. Not a lot anymore. I think it's been devalued by putting the time on and you know, half five on a Saturday night and it doesn't make, it's not special anymore. To me when I was a child the FA Cup was sitting in front of the television watching all the different games going on all the different quizzes and all the rest of it and it was a whole day's entertainment and it was the same when I brought my daughters up they loved FA Cup day it didn't matter who was playing it was special um, and it isn't anymore you know it's it started going downhill when the other team in Stretford declined to enter it yes and from then on it was devalued it's gone down and down and down and the top clubs are only interested in Europe and the Premier League now. But why the League Cup it still exists is just beyond me. I just do not understand that. What's your favourite memory of the FA Cup? <laughs> uh, 1956, the third minute, Joe Hayes scored. That guy in front of me, I hit him on the back of the head with me rattle, <laughs> which was an old World War II ARP rattle. And he took it off me. And he didn't give me back until the end of the match. <laughs> you won't have that problem today, will you? Now, the favourite goal, though, was Neil Young in 1969. He'd had a couple of sighters, and the third one was straight in the roof of the net. I still love it. I still appreciate that it's for fans of real football, like the Old Tringham, and even sort of for the Burnleys, because they're not as high up as we are now, all of a sudden. However, I think... Um, semi-finals at Wembley costs a lot of money, um, it devalues it, it makes it all about money and the television rights and everybody else around the world, not the real fans who love the FA Cup for what it really is. I think it's the best tournament in the world at the moment, I enjoy watching it, um, excited for today, me lads are um, looking forward to the game as well. Who's going to win today then? Live 
Do you know who the perfect person, the former City player who would be perfect to preview this game is? A former City captain scored a semi-final winner in the FA Cup back in 1981. All power. Well, of course, it's a big game, isn't it? And I think uh, Burnley are going to bring uh, a lot of supporters. I think there'll be a fantastic atmosphere uh, in the stadium. So I think that whatever team he puts out, uh, it will be good enough to beat Burnley. And I think um, there'll be a fantastic atmosphere as well. So, so, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. On a day like today, does your mind go back to um, Ipswich? That's a, that's a free kick. Yeah, always, always, you know, that sort of a highlight, highlight of my career. So obviously leading the, uh, the team out at Wembley was uh, the biggest, you know, meeting a member of the royal family that I'd never met before. So, you know, this, this stage, I've also been to Halifax and got knocked out in the third round at Halifax. So, you know, uh, it can be a high or a low, there's no doubt about that. The highest point of your whole football career might arguably have been lifting that FA Cup, would it? Uh, yeah, it would have been. It would have been. I mean, I, I, uh, uh, we were so close to doing it as well. You know, I've been, um, I've been drawn uh, like with uh, Spurs in the in the first game and then got so close to beating them in the second. We were 2-1 up, uh, you know, in the replay. Uh, we ended up getting beat 3-2, but there you go. It's uh, yeah, fantastic. We just ran out of steam a little bit, I think. Too many, uh, too many games, but probably not as many as the players that play now. Uh, you know, over the Christmas period, it's been ridiculous. So, what does today mean to you? Uh, well, it's a. I think it's another opportunity to see a fantastic team. I think this team is unbelievably good. And it doesn't matter if Gundogan comes in or if uh, Bernard Silva comes in, whatever they replace a player by will be good enough, you know, to, to help the team play in the same attacking fashion. It's really, really good to watch. I live in France now and uh, I, I watch most of the games on, um, on the TV, but um, fantastic, really look forward to watching the games. Oh, it's massive, it's massive, yeah. It's one of those those occasions that you can wake up early, in, you know, or early in the morning to watch or late at night, depending on what time it was streamed through. But, uh, you know, it's, it's Romantic, the romance of the FA Cup was will live on forever. It's it's a great day. Um, I'm I am I'm here supporting Burnley, but I'm I'm not too hopeful today. I think uh, I think City will be too good in in this round. But um, you know, it, I hope I hope Burnley put up a good show. I've seen the teams. We've got quite a strong team actually, but I've seen Manchester City's team. And what happened to rotation? I can't believe it. Anyway, we'll take our chances. A, a cheeky nil nil. If City don't cheat like they did in the league game and go down early for a penalty, we might be all right. What does the FA Cup mean to you? A lot. I mean, right, so one of my dreams with Burnley is to see uh, sing abide with me at Wembley. We had a semi final in '74, beaten by Newcastle. I never thought we'd be in the Premier League. We've stayed there for three seasons running now. Wembley's the next one. Maybe Europe. We'll get Europe this year. Maybe a Wembley final. I just don't see it today. Actually, City are a strong side. Whoever they play, and what's the sort of Guerrero's name and Sane and you name it. Well, who knows? Maybe we'll play a one ten and go for it. Thought Burnley have been exceptional. Uh, really good tactically. Forced Manchester City into. Areas of the park they don't want to be in. That's where the goal comes from, I think. Uh, John Stone's turning it over, but I expect to see City maybe make a couple of changes and improve in the second half. The is going to come on, isn't he? I think he'll come on, yeah. But I'd be surprised if it's not for for Gundogan. Um, but he gives them that star quality, and I think that's what they're going to need if they're going to reverse the results at half time and get back in the game. Because Burnley looked really organised. Disappointing first half, to be honest. Um, bad mistake by John Stones, obviously, but. Uh, I think he'll make up for that in the second half. He's usually quite assured. And uh, Pep will make changes uh, tactically in the second half. So, um, all being well, we'll get back into it. Despite that, then, you're still pretty confident, aren't you? I wouldn't say confident. I'd say I'm, I'm confident in Pep's ability to turn it round. Um, whether the bus that is Burnley will uh, let it happen is another thing. 1-0 down, but it was just a defensive error. Um, I think at the end of the day, we've got what we have on the pitch to, to beat them. Um, so, I think we will do. I just don't want the replay. With all these fixtures coming up, I just don't want the replay at the end of the day. I think with Pep now, he's generally the master of tactics. He knows what other teams are doing. He then knows how to change, how to adapt from that. 
I think they've just been a little bit slow in possession, maybe it needs to be a bit quicker. Wide areas, Aguero, can they get them on the ball a little bit, little bit more? The long ball is a threat, as we've seen. The big boys up front for Burnley, they need to, they need to win the first header or they'll be in trouble again. Uh, but yeah, as I said, maybe Walker can come on and change a little bit of pace from the full back position. But it's certainly there for them, but they need to up the pace. So we have the fourth round of the table on behalf of the players. How did you hope to have here at Manchester City? Thank you once again for your hands. Sublime, mate. Absolutely brilliant. That's what we do it on Tuesday now against Bristol. A game of two halves here. Strange first half performance, but brilliant in the second half. So uh, on to Tuesday night. What was the difference then in the second half? Uh, I think the early goal, getting the early goal, and then that meant Burnley had to come out a little bit, and then we took them to the cleaners, really, so break second half. What do you think oh, of the game? Aguero, love it. It was absolutely brilliant, one of the best birthday presents I've ever had. Brilliant. Yeah, no, I never in doubt you again, um, at half time. Jesse's two brothers. Oh, I don't know, I don't know. it's a bit, a bit one of them, that, innit? I says, no, no, don't worry about it. I said, one ball in behind, cut them apart. Burnley don't like conceding goals. Uh, got the one, and then I knew it'd be more. You know, nice cheeky uh, win there. Lifted cup in there, FA Cup, Wembley, no problem. We started off a bit slow, but I thought once second half started, we were all over him, so easy in the end, I think. What was the difference then? But they just came out and wanted it a bit more. Did a bit slow in the first half. Second half, just went for it. Pep was, I think, Gino up on the sidelines and Sean was getting a bit upset, wasn't he? So, I think it all went well in the end. Fantastic, mate. Stepped up again, didn't we? Second half. Aguero, just sublime. That back heel from Sane. I mean, what more can we ask for? Onwards and onwards, eh? First half, a bit iffy, I thought. Second half, we up the game. Aguero come out, two fantastic finishes. After that, Burnley just sat back and let us play. Um, into the fourth round. Yeah, I'd like to see a big team. Um, the more big teams we knock out, the further we'll go in the competition. We've got four trophies to compete for. We've got the squad to do it. Let's go for four trophies this year, eh? Well, first half was all right. Then they obviously had a boot in it at half time and we came out really strong second half. Thought Aguero, Sharp, Sane Sharp in second half. And we were just all around brilliant, really. Do you think Pep's had a word with him at half time? Uh, he, well, he must have. We didn't really get our second gear in the first half, but uh, for the second half, we were brilliant. Do you think it can be forgiven as a former football commentator for using a football cliche? That was a game of two halves. I thought City in the first half, uh, well, obviously, they made a mistake with the John Stones uh, error that led to Burnley's goal. But they weren't really at it. But in the second half, some fans have claimed it's because Pep had a word. They came out and looked a different side. Sane was suddenly very alert. Some great creative play by Ilkay Gundogan. Silver as ever, uh, very creative. And suddenly a couple of goals from Sergio Aguero in a couple of minutes. And the whole game changes. Uh, fantastic performance in the second half. And City safely through. And the fact that Kevin De Bruyne started the game on the bench suggests to me that Pep's going to start the Bristol City game on Tuesday night with the strongest team possible. Let's see. I'll be back to do it again again, of course, at the weekend. Don't forget to subscribe button. And thanks very much for watching and keep retweeting and sharing and all that sort of thing. And, uh, and thanks very much for your support.